Good afternoon and welcome to beautiful Hudson Fields here at Hazen Union High School, Heart of Vermont. Quarterfinal action today, your Hazen Union Wildcat boys taking on the arch rival People's Academy Wolves. Winner of this game goes on to the uh, semis, P opponent to be determined between uh, Enosburg and Mill River that's being played today. Capacity crowd here at the field today. Everybody coming out to support their cats. Big game. Lance Hall with the call for HCTV Channel 16 on your local cable dial, streaming worldwide and archived at www.hctv.us. Griff on camera. Sponsors today, Woolly Store, 533-2621, open every day, 7 a.m. to 6 p.m. And Jasper Hill Farm, 533-2644, best cheese in the world. Thanking our sponsors today. Cats come in on an eight-game, eight-game win streak, Griff. That's pretty impressive. They even took down uh, Winooski. Yeah. Was, and over, over in Winooski under the lights. Yeah. Thrilling game. game. I didn't make it. My wife was there, and she was texting both John Sperry and I throughout the evening. It sounded like it was an incredible game. Game against Bellows Falls, the first play in, uh, you know, whatever you want to call it, the play down game or whatever. Mm -hmm. I heard it wasn't much of a contest, Griff. Well, some notable things happened. One, uh, there was two goals scored by Cody Davison within the first minute. Yes. And then later, there was a goal by one of your favorite players, Mac Lamphere. Mac Donald Lamphere got his first goal of his varsity career. And I'll tell you, Griff, I made good on my promise. I, came, I got here real early today uh -huh. uh, to get set up and everything. And uh, the boys are just starting to warm up. I asked Kyle if I could interrupt his practice for a minute. He allowed me to, and I did my Lord of the Dance right down on the field for the boys. As promised. As promised. Man of your words. <laughs> Referee Mike Clark signals the kick, the free kick going to the People's Academy Wolves. Action just underway. Yeah, I was down in Wilmington where he's and Union Lady Cat girls unfortunately came up a little short. But uh, I'll tell you, what a long ride down there. Yeah. About three hours. Um, they played Twin Valley, lost for zip, but uh, shot off the side. Wow. Early action here. Mm -hmm. Played hard, wrapped up a season. I think they finished, what, 4-11, four, four I believe? Something like that, yeah. Um, uh, First-year coach Harry Bissett did a great job, I thought, all year with the girls and everything. Couldn't and agree more. We, uh, I think going into next year and the years beyond that, it was a young team this year, a lot of freshmen sophomores and stuff. I think the, the future of Lady Cat soccer is bright. Over there on the side, Wyatt Bellavance. Try and match up some names and numbers here with the, with the Wolves. Hazen has been an offensive machine. They've got weapons galore out there. An all-world defense. But I'll tell you, this PA team, don't sell them short, came in with a record of 7-7. Seven seven, but they play up a lot during the season. A lot of D2 teams. And uh, so record not really indicative of much here. If I remember right, the first game Hazen boys played this year was against Peoples? Against Peoples down in PA. Yeah, down at, uh, in Morrisville. They lost, I think it was 4-zip, 5-zip or something like that. But at that point, I remember Kyle went down. There was just like, I think, one sub. One or yeah. two subs, that, you know, and he was just really learning. Nobody really knew what was going on. And boy, did they turn things around after that. Ball through. The little shopper. Punt out midfield. Bounces up. Tyson looking to play that against Nathan Nolan. And I'll tell you, Griff, I thought I was going to have to make good on two promises. Down in Wilmington at Twin Valley, Maverick just missed scoring. Mm. Ball crossed right in front of her. Couldn't quite get the foot on it. I think if she could have even got a half a foot on it, she would have scored. Uh, Deb Placa sitting in front of me thought for sure she was going to hear a rendition of you've lost that loving feeling. <laughs> that would have been worth the three-hour trip. It would have been. Tell you, I felt like Gilligan going out on my three hour tour, you know. <laughs> Wolves moving up, gets a pass Montgomery. Short, sharp passes. Anthony Patrick, that's a chunk out of bounds. PA playing quick. Shot on, save Ethan Shopland.
Cody Hall knocks that one out. Pass over Carlson, middle of the field. Taken out by Rosenthal, back in. Reese Wheeler trying to get a turn. Lincoln Mitchell clears that one out with authority. Cody up ahead to Baker, looking for Cody Davison, taken back out by Tony White. Cody. Baker trading some paint right there with uh, Landon Doobie. C.J. Hall, that's his nickname. Cody was very upset with me. I nicknamed just about everybody on the team but him. So I've been given permission to go with C.J. Hall. Wyatt Bellavan slips down. Tyson over on the far side, working with Tamarat Tulson, Tomlinson, excuse me. All up ahead. We got... Uh, Charlie Veet wide open over here on the far side. Calling for the ball, couldn't get it over to him. Quarterfinal action. Great day for soccer. Beautiful. No not wind, you know. Not too hot, not too not cold. Not too hot, not too cold. It's perfect, yeah. I think we've got some good officiating today. We've got Mark, Mike Clark out there in the center of the field. I forget the other two gentlemen's names. I read them off, but I can't remember. Shot in. You can hear Ethan calling for that one. Short punt to the side. Baker comes over. Going to try and keep it in. Baker back. CJ. Middle of the field. Wyatt Bellavance going up against Oliver Nigro. PA defense, Griff, looks impenetrable right now. There's a long shot up. Keeper Joe Bonanno back. Bonanno, the senior keeper for the Wolves. Ball played up over. Shot in. Long shot. Taken by Colton Nimi. And uh, Everett Griff, Harry had to work until three today, but as soon as he could, he was going to be up here with us. That is the word that I got as well. He'll be here later. As soon as he can. Rosenthal up, ball down. Wyatt Bellavance trying to get the head on that. Cats looking to apply the pressure. <laughs> Bonanno, goal kick up. Kept back in by Montgomery. There's Davison. Free kick, PA. Moving up, ball squirts through. Field looks a little wet. I've seen a couple of our players slip. I didn't really go on it other than when I walked across midfield before it. I couldn't really tell. Looks a little slippery out there. Was it rainy up here at all the other day for the Bellows Falls game? Uh, nope. It was pretty nice out. I'll tell you, down there in Wilmington, it was kind of dark, gloomy, misty. The field was sort of set down in a, in a valley. And, mm -hmm. uh, yeah. That far south, it's kind of a different climate. Yeah, yeah it, it was very damp, raw, misty, gray, gloomy day. <laughs> Let's just say this. I was looking for Liz to show up with a <laughs> thermos of hot cocoa for us.
Chip back in. Davidson trying to get by that defense. Not, nothing there. Landon Doobie shuts it down. Ball goes back to the Wildcats. Throw in. Miss kick there. You don't see that might happen very often with Rosenthal. That is a rarity. Gabe Carlson trying to cross. Rosenthal goes down. No call. Tomlinson, chip in the middle, ball up, dangerous. The shopper makes the save. And we still have people coming in. A lot, of course, PA and, and Hazen go way back. Soccer, basketball, you name it. Mitchell gets the turnaround on that. Davison. Playing against Tomlinson. Here's Davison. Ball out. Going to go. Because you remember back to the uh, homecoming game when I got Joe Bellavance to come up there. One lone loss in that championship season. It was down in Morris. Mitch will be called for that. And I, I had another interesting thing brought out on that year, Griff. In the... Spring of 81, the boys won the basketball championship. And I, boy, correct me if I'm wrong, but I almost think we beat PA on that one. Nice header to get that one out. Kept back in by Baker, trying to get the shot on. Turn, left foot, shot, save, Banana. So in the spring of 81, we won the boys championship, and I believe the final was against PA, if I remember right. I'll have to get a word with Aaron Hill at halftime. And uh, then, of course, that fall of 81, we won the soccer championship against Proctor. And the following spring, spring of 82, here's Cody Hall inside looking to feed Davison. Cody Hall with the header. Nimi. Tomlinson gives chase on the far side. And we're out. In the spring of 82, if I remember right also, I believe on graduation day, the boys won the, the uh, baseball championship. So three champions crowned. That year, triple crown, triple crown. Long kick up. Shopper, scoop save. Or should I just say a scoop? Short punt. Trying to get the head on that. Nimi has that one go high on him. Gets the header on it, though. Turn around. Here's Baker with Davidson right there to take it out. It's Cole Grant. I got to say, this, this defense is quick, too, for PA. James Montgomery on the throw. Rosenthal. Mitchin. Can Tyson keep it in? Yes, going up the far side. Ooh. Baker. Wanted that one bad. Nimi just had to go under. Nimi turnaround. Sandwich between two wolves. Free kick. Colton Nimi, senior, for the Cats. Low, Bonanno save. Low and outside, Griff. That's what you want to do. You got the low part. I don't know if you got outside enough. Though. Yeah, it was kind of in the middle, but it was low. Patrick has that one go under his foot. Mitchett has that one go sideways. End results, Shopper with the scoop. 
kind of get like these two teams are sort of feeling themselves out. You know, this is like the early rounds of like a heavyweight boxing match yeah. almost, you know? Yeah. Just sort of sparring with each other right now. Finn Rooney comes in. C.J. Hall off. Finn Rooney, the always dangerous. I heard he scored against Bellows Falls. Yeah, a lot of people scored against Bellows Falls. Yeah. Turn around. Davison shot. High. Goal kick, Bonanno. Did you hear the unofficial assistant coach for the Wildcats, Jim Bellavance, down below us? <laughs> Free kick, PA. Finn Rooney. Finn Rooney on the near side. Nice pass across the middle. Tomlinson's going to catch up with that one. Knocked down by Nimi, though. Baker trying to get there. Ball played back out by PA. PA looks like they're kind of content to go with a short, patient route right now. So they're doing a lot of short passes. Davison, steal, turn around. Davison trying to do everything to shake and bake the opponent here. Sticking right with him. Is that Landon Doobie sticking with him? Norris Duff gets that one over the middle. We got a whistle. Going to take the free kick. Launches one high. Ball played up. Squirts back out. Nimi. Swing and a miss on the first one. Launches this one way back. That'll be out of bounds. Played by Cole Grant. Baker on the throw in. Tyson Davidson going to get a break. I believe that's uh, Caleb Friend coming in. Oh, and this is the first chance I've gotten to uh, Griff. I think it was the, one of the homecoming games, the boys' homecoming game. We credited Cody, Cody Davison with a goal, when really it was Caleb Friend. Oh, okay. Uh, Caleb's first goal of his uh, varsity career as well. So I wanted to correct that, amend that. I did see him in the store and apologized. Congratulations, Caleb. But, uh, yeah, he did get uh, – was, there was sort of a scrum in front. And a, lot of, a lot of feet involved, but it was Caleb that got the end results, got the foot on it. Tomlinson almost setting a screen out there on Davison. And it looks like the Wolves' plan of attack has been to neutralize Cody Davison. Got to wonder if we'll be able to spring him free or if somebody else is going to have a chance to step up here. Friend goes down, Tomlinson. Wyatt. Bellavance. PA goal kick. 22 25 left to go in the first half. No score. We've gotten a couple of shots on Bonanno. Ethan's made a couple of saves early. Other than that, a lot of the action. Sort of in the middle of the field. Finn Rooney. Going against Charlie Veach. Finn Rooney, drop pass in. Veach has that one go off him. PA does some substituting. It's 
going to say, even to my eyes, with what these guys have gotten away with the last few years, that looked like an illegal throw. Was waiting for the call. Baker on the throw. Drops it in. Finn Rooney looking to get across. Ball goes under. Oh, there's a, a, a bit of a shove there by Landon Duty. No call. Anthony Patrick, throw. Trading throw-ins here. Patrick, high to the corner. Will it stay in? Baker trying to keep it in, trying to settle down. Throw in, PA. Patrick, high booming kick, unfortunately, out of bounds. Goal kick, center, Rosenthal. And call on Gabe Carlson, got a little aggressive against Colton Nimi. Julius Rosenthal, he can put it on goal from here. Kick up, ball through. Baker went down. High spinning kick to midfield. Back up by Montgomery. Cole Grant working against Baker. Grant goes down. Mike Clark giving his whistle a workout. Calling it both ways, I think. The Hazen faithful. A little perturbed at some calls. Can't please all the people all the time, right? No, you can't, especially when you got that yellow jersey on. Yep. <laughs> somebody, no matter what you do, somebody's going to be mad. Ball up ahead. Reese Wheeler. Cross. Chopper down. Makes the save. Charlie V to open on the other side, number 12. I've been seeing him open a little bit on this near side, Griff. It's got me a little worried. He's kind of sneaking in behind the defense. Wyatt. Bellamance over to Finn Rooney. Finn Rooney. Cole Grant back. Charlie Veets. Charlie Veets. Moves up ahead. Looks across. Montgomery breaks that up. He's looking on the far side. Wyatt Bellavance up. Bonanno out. Cody Davison right there. Bonanno. Discus throw here. I'd say he threw it further than he punted it last time. That was quite a throw. Montgomery. Far side. Davison Tomlinson playing over there, going shoulder to shoulder. PA defense clears out. Wyatt Bellavance keeps it in. Once again, our sponsors today. Willie Store, 533-2621, open every day, 7 a.m. to 6 p.m. at Jasper Hill Farm, 533-2644, best cheese in the world. Lance Hall with the call for HCTV Channel 16 on the local cable dial, streaming worldwide and archived at www.hctv.us. Griff on camera. Quarterfinal action today. Your Hazen Union Wildcats taking on their arch rival People's Academy Wolves. Winner of this game goes on to play the winner of the Enosburg Mill River game, which is going on up in Enosburg at the same time as this one is. 16.57 left to go in the first half. No score as of yet. Neither team with, I would say, a, any serious scoring opportunities. A couple of shots here and there, but. A game of let's wait and see. Baker. So far, though, what we're seeing right here is Tomlinson has really neutralized Cody Davison so far in this game. 
We mentioned earlier that he hasn't played against Peoples at the beginning of the year, but back then, Cody Davison was Wasn't, not. Yeah, he was not playing. He was still yep. coming off the knee injury. Yeah. C.J. Hall back out on the field. Isaiah Baker going to get a break. The butcher, the baker. Maybe he'll be the goal maker. Patrick plays it up. Rosenthal over there working with Norris Duff. Mitchell chipped to the side. Throw in. PA. Oh, and I see Spire. I've just spotted coming up the other side of the roof. Harry Bissett. All right. We're going to have a Hazen throw. PA on the far side. Hazen with the throw. Throw in. Controlled by Reese Wheeler. Coming across the middle. I believe that was uh, Oliver Nigro. Turnaround. Norris Duff. Give and go on the far side. Nathan Nolan. Got quick feet. In to knocked out by Anthony Patrick. Harry. We'll find Harry a headset here. Corner kick just in time, Harry. The most exciting play in soccer. The most exciting play in soccer. Nice save. Wow. Charlie Veet was trying to screen, standing right in front. I believe that's Charlie Veet. Or was, no, it was uh, Reese Wheeler. We're standing right in front of Shoplin. Shoplin somehow got on it. I believe it was Oliver Nigro who got the header on it. Been sort of like watching a uh, heavyweight championship bout so far, Harry. These two teams have kind of, you know, the first few rounds, you kind of feel each other out and yep. you know, do a little sparring. And But so far, the other thing we noticed, number 15, Tomlinson for PA, has completely neutralized Cody Davison. Cody has had no shot at nothing. Wyatt Bellavance goes up there, maybe trying, going to try and intimidate a little bit, but I don't think you're going to intimidate Tomlinson over there. Uh, Cody's, Cody's been very well neutralized by, by this PA defense so far. Neither team with any other than that save that you just saw Ethan make. Uh, you know, a couple of shots here and there, but no, no, no type of serious shot. CJ Hall inside. Nimi has that one come up. Mike Clark lets him play on. Yep, he was, if I think if Hazen player had won the ball, he was going to call it back for a handball, but he saw the advantage for White and let him continue. Good officiating. Veteran officiating right there. They have a three ref system, so they three have the ref. one ref in the middle, and then they have the two linesmen on the outside, mainly looking for offsides, but if they see another infraction, they can call it. Um, but as the camera goes around the field, you'll see the two that are kind of just staying on. They just will stay on one half of the side and then just communicate with the one ref in the middle, uh, which is the same system that they use at a professional level. I like that. Yep. It, it just makes it much easier for them to, especially for the offsides. Yeah. They, they just stay right at the back line of the defender and they get much more accurate cuts. A huge turnout. And yeah. Uh, this is a, here. yeah. I, I trouble finding phenomenal. a parking spot. I, <laughs> I can believe it. We parked down by Hall's Market. <laughs> and I'll tell you what, Harry, I got here a little early um, to make sure I had lineups and names and, you know, talk with John Sperry a little bit. And uh, as I was going across the field, the team was just starting their warm-up. And I asked Kyle if I could interrupt for about 30 seconds. He said, sure. And I did my Lord of the Dance in honor of Mac Lamphere scoring his first varsity goal. Nice. Previous game against Bella Falls. There's a break in. Shot on. Goal. If you can get me a number, Griff, is that number nine? Norris Duff scoring. Kind of uh, came out chopper, tried to make the save. We saw him kind of slip down. We've seen our players do that at different places on the field today. I don't know if it's slick, muddy, whatever, but we've seen a couple of our guys, not too many of their guys, a couple of our guys slip. Uh, saw Chopper try to make the save. Look at the pass, sort of shot one behind him. Yep. The, uh 
PA player there to capitalize. Yep, the hard work was done by the drive down and across, but I think the entire time he was more looking for the pass across. I think the entire time he was just hoping that his teammate was making the run. He did, he brought the ball across to him. Shoplin had to go for the save. There's no way he could just sit back and tap it into the open net. We'll see Here's how Hazen responds. We're talking, they did play this team first game of the year. Uh, lost, I think it was, well, I can look in the program here. Four to one. Four to yeah. one. Yep. I think um, it's the only team that they have played and not beaten. They lost to Enosburg and Winooski, but then the second time they played them, they were both there right. and they bounced back in both. So we'll hope they can do the same. We'll hope they can do the same here. Bounce back time. We'll see what they're made of. I, they, I've heard the last game, that regular season game over in Winooski was a barn burner. That's so. what I heard as well. I wasn't there. My wife was texting me. And uh, phenomenal games. So let's see what uh, see what goes on here. PA in control right now. Shot on. Save. Eleven minutes left. The first half. PA up one nothing. Cats come back. See how it starts. I also chatted briefly in the first half about your Lady Cats having a unfortunate luck down in uh, Wilmington against Twin Valley, but still a good season, you know. Yep. Uh, the girls all learned, and you did, you know, first year coach, mm -hmm. uh, you kind of baptized by fire <laughs> at times, but uh, outstanding job all around. I think the, you know the future of Lady Cats soccer is is bright. Yep. Yep, and the middle school's program's strong and the strong players coming up, and uh, it was a, overall, a lot of positives from the season. Call this sort of a rebuilding year. Yeah, yeah. but, uh, yeah, there were a lot of positives. Or, or you set a foundation. Too. Set a foundation. Yeah, there were a lot of positives. The girls, I think, uh, you know, got a lot out of the season. Long ride down and back, though, I'll tell you. Yep. Yep. So. But our hats off to you. We want to thank you very, very much for... Supplying us at HCTV with action all season long and uh, doing a great job. Oh, thank you. And for coming up here. Oh, best seat in the house. You can see PA's plan is they, they did it again on that last drive. I'm not sure if it was on the screen or not, but as the ball came up the field, they had a player just off the back of the last defender looking to get that ball across. And Here on the near play. side. Yep here, yep, here on the near side. Yep, I've, I've noticed that... Uh, Every time they've had the ball up here on offense, they've had a guy yep. wide open over on our side of the field here. Yep, and it's Finn Rooney got ahead on that. Nimi trying to get the turn. Slide tackle. I yep. think you got to call that one. Yep, delayed whistle. They're just waiting to see if they had a better chance from the play. Uh, it didn't materialize into a direct goal scoring opportunity, so he's pulling it back. Oliver Nigro called for the infraction. And I'm trying to look, correct? Tell me which way his hands are pointing. Is this direct or indirect? Direct. Uh, so he can shoot straight on goal if he wants to. I haven't seen him point his hand, but called for a foul. Um, and, yes, he can shoot straight on goal. Colton Nimi on the kick. Lifts it up. Looking for the corner. Tapped up and over. They get a corner. They got missed corner. the corner of the net, but they get a corner on the field. Tyson Davidson in there trying to get the header on it. C.J. Hall on the corner kick. Ball floats in. Baker down. Save. Bonanno. Bonanno says a quick prayer of thanks on that one. High, booming punt from way back. Rosenthal looking to settle that one down. Mitchett gets it up to Bellavance. Bellavance up ahead. Bonanno. Hear unrest from some of the fans creeping in. Yeah, there, there's been a, a lot of unrest down here with some calls and non-calls. But uh, like we said, you know, you put on a yellow jersey and you're gonna make somebody mad. Oh, well, they at some point. As much as the players have been preparing for round two of the playoffs, the refs have too, and they're they'll be on point, I'm sure. 
Yeah, we've got a great. I think they've, in, in my estimation, they've called it fairly down the middle. Yeah, could you make, could you question a few here or there? But see you down there doing it live. I'm just going to, as I always do when I come across the field after I uh, do lineups, the referees are usually standing right there. I wish them a good game. Yep. I figure nobody else is going to. <laughs> C.J. Hall heading up, gets a turn, can't quite get the foot on it. Throw in, Patrick looks up ahead. Cody header towards the middle, Nimi comes down. Cody, something away from the ball? Um, I'm not sure, maybe you saw too much contact between the PA player and the Hazel player running through. 6.15 left in the first half, PA up one zip. Off a goal by Norris Duff. De this, their defense, I've noticed too, not only has been fairly impenetrable at times, but it's been quick. They have a, a very quick defense. Yep. They seem ready to be quick and physical. They're, they seem up to the task, and we'll see if Hazen can figure out how to put on some more pressure. Tomlinson, far side, boot up. Certainly the last five minutes have all been in the PA defensive end. Melavance collides with Landon Doobie. Has the game been back and forth up to the PA goal, or was it mostly? A lot of it was in the middle. Like I said, middle, you yeah. know, both teams had had a few, sh you know, a couple of, you know, yep. not serious shots. But, you know, yep. anything can happen. But... Uh, a lot of it played in the middle. Like I said, they were, it was almost like a, they were kind of sparring, mm -hmm. yep. trying to figure out what was going on. Yep. The other thing I've got to ask, Harry, uh, is that PA's going to line up for the free kick on our way home. Uh, we stopped there in Springfield. How was your cherry Coke? It was delicious. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's sort of an inside joke, I'll fill you in on later. <laughs> <laughs> it, was, it was just the, Hit the spot. pick me up I needed. All right. We had a game earlier in the year where Cody had actually scored a couple of goals. My my son Cody. Yes. And I was telling Griff that I'd gone up in his room that day and made a, a rather disturbing discovery where I found several empty cherry coke cans. Really? And cherry coke is my drink in the house. So uh -huh. if he can score ten goals, he's still going to be in the doghouse with me for drinking my cherry coke. <laughs> so there's the inside joke on the cherry coke uh -huh. thing. And when he saw me with mine, said, "Oh, you know what? I'm going to get one." Yeah. Looked like a good idea. Yeah. Shot down, oh, trouble. Shopper. I would think as a goalie, that's where you have to be tremendously patient with that ball bouncing around. Yep. You, you know, you gotta be ready to make a move. And just so much focus to time it just right because you have at least one or two other people ready to go through you to get it. Yeah, you had the guy there, you know, looking to put the header and the foot on it. Yep. And, and Ethan still got to wait for it to come down, so. Yep. But Good play by Shopper. Stay strong, stay brave, and time it just right, and did well. Anthony Patrick. Shot on high, Bonanno. Same, same there. The, same. Bonanno knew it was coming. He just had to watch it, watch it, even though he knows, like, sees red players coming at him. Seems like it hung strong, there forever. Brave. Yep. 3.25 left to go in the first half. PA up 1-0. Call's going the red way now. The crowd happier. <laughs> Hazen's putting Fick, on... Hazen, fickle, aren't they? Hazen with the ball at their feet are putting on a ton of pressure, and they're earning the calls. They're making, the, making PA play them hard. Mitch it up. Call. PA player, was that called on Oliver Nigro? I uh, got a little I bit of a. So. Yep, he just sort of came through the felt the ref in the center. Felt like he came through the back of the Hazen player, which you're not allowed to do. Rosenthal with the kick, high floater, going in. Wow. Yep. Nigro went up high. We're we gonna have a PK. I and that so. was in the box. Is that the signal? They're going to give it to him outside of the box. Rosenthal lines up, shot, goal! Julius, the wall, Rosenthal line up, quick shot. I don't think anybody was set. I think everyone 
on the Hazen side. We'll stop carrying throws in or out of the box now. With the ball in the back of the net, they'll care less about the placement of the ball. See Bonanno go up having some words with Mike Clark. Mike Clark says, uh, got to be ready, I guess. Well, Quick kick. Yep. We've got a 1-1 game with 2.18 left to go in the first half. Yep. And Harry, was that shot low and outside? It was to be, low. To be honest with you, I believe it was low into the middle. It deflected and went outside. Okay. <laughs> but it went in the net on the was, low and outside. That's all that matters. That's the way it beat the keeper. All right, Hazen, let's see if they can build off their momentum now as this game's tied up. There's two shoves yep. by uh, Nathan Nolan over on the far side. Hands right in the back. Turn around. Carlson up ahead. Nice move by uh, Norris Duff. Goes down. Looked yep. like he fell over his own feet. Uh, Mitcher just left his foot dangling. Okay. And he just left his foot out a little late. And I think Mike, uh, I think the ref saw that his foot just dangled out there a little bit. The player tripped over it. Okay. Called foul. Free kick, Landon Doobie. We'll give it to him. I think uh, I think he would have tripped over his own feet. And, but Mitcher just didn't pull his foot back in time. Right. So unfortunately. Free kick for PA, but Hazen's defense done a good job slowing them down. Shopper, punt, 125 left to go in the first half. Cody Hall, CJ Hall, ball turned around, took a funny hop there. Oh, right in the face of Gabe Carlson. Took that one right in the chin. That's got to hurt. Yep, just do a quick concussion check. Make sure he's okay. What he knows, split lip, anything, you know? He's certainly ready Excuse to me, continue Cole, playing. Cole Grant. Cole, Cole Grant. Grant. I'm sorry. Cole Grant. Mitchett up ahead. Davison got the body on it. Bonanno on there. Tomlinson, 34 seconds left. Montgomery up, Rosenthal, PA keeps it in though. Save out, Rosenthal, middle of the field, 23 seconds, ball high. A wall of defenders there. Yep. Almost too many, they're kind of bunching. 14 seconds left, Davison over on the far side. Gets it back to Tyson Davison. Gonna have to shoot quick, seven seconds. Colton Nemeon, save, Bonanno. And that will end the first half of the score tied 1-1. It was PA drawing first blood with a goal off of Norris Duff. And then Hazen came back and got the equalizer off of, uh, you know, first we wanted a penalty kick, then they gave it outside the box. We lined up to the quick kick. Julius the Wall Rosenthal with the score. And we've got a 1-1 ball game here. Lance Hall with the call for HCTV Channel 16 on your local cable dial, streaming worldwide and archived at www.hctv.us. Our sponsor today, Willie Store, 533-2621, open every day, 7 a.m. to 6 p.m. Jasper Hill Farm, 533-2644, best cheese in the world. Griff on camera, Harry Bissett, helping us out with commentary and the calls and everything today. What do you see so far, Harry, uh, from what you've been here? Well, coming in late, I saw a great PA where we were really able to figure out how to beat the Hazen defense. They were tactically able to just control the game, uh, make the defense panic a little bit, then coolly pass the ball around, control it, and get it in the back of the net. Hazen piled a ton of pressure on afterwards, kept PA back in their own half, um, and their pressure was rewarded with a couple of free kicks, and one of them Hazen was able to convert. We'll see how they come out. We'll see if he, PA tries to step up the physicality. They're certainly getting called for it. Yeah. Uh, the yellow cards will start to come out if they keep fouling, keep fouling, uh, which will add added pressure and added complication to how the PA ref tries to playing things tactically, but it's a pretty open game. And Both teams are still likely to score in the second half. So anyway, you slice it. We'll I think see. we're in for a barn burner of a second half. Arch rivals like this. We're going to have a good one, folks. We'll see you Absolutely. at the start of the second half. And we're back from beautiful Hudson Fields, Hazen Union High School, Heart of Vermont's soccer quarterfinal action today. Your Hazen Union Wildcat boys facing the arch rival People's Academy Wolves. Winner of this game goes on to the semifinals to play the today's winner of the game between Mill River and Enosburg. 
Lance Hall with the call for HCTV Channel 16 on your local cable dial, streaming worldwide and archived at www.hctv.us. Griff on camera. Harry, I believe, is going to come back up with us here for the second half. Sponsors today, Willie Store, 533-2621, open every day, 7 a.m. to 6 p.m. And Jasper Hill Farm, 533-2644, best cheese in the world. It was PA getting on the scoreboard first with a goal by Norris Duff. A little while later, we got the equalizer on a quick kick after a penalty called, which we thought we were going to get a PK. Instead, they spotted the ball just outside the box. It was Julius the Wall Rosenthal going up on the quick kick, getting the ball screaming past Bonanno to notch this game up at one apiece. And uh, I think we're in for some great, great second half action here today. A lot of energy around this field right now. A lot of energy. I mean, we've got a capacity crowd. I mean, there's people parking all over the place. We've got people parking over on the street. This is like a PA uh, Wildcat basketball game crowd, you know? Yeah. So good to see everybody out. You know, I mean, they draw well from Morrisville as well. See a lot of that PA green down there along with the haze and red. We'll get well, Harry. You were uh, you were right down there with the crowd. What's your feel from the crowd? Everybody's still a lot of energy, eh? Everyone's excited. Everyone's just enjoying the great match we have so far. I think, and they're looking forward to the second half. Should be a good one. You get a rivalry like this. This one goes way back. PA and Hazen have gone at it for as long as I can remember. That's for sure. Tyson Davison across the middle of the field gets it out. CJ Hall over on the far side, keeping it in. Keeps it in, lifts one over, a little too far. Baker gives chase here on the near side. James Montgomery. Yep, great tackle. Stop the play. Let his team get back. Tomlinson, throw. Davison, middle of the field. Nimi got a foot on that, deflected it just a, bit, a little bit. Cody Davison was looking across for Baker. Here's Davison yep. trying to settle. Two defenders right there, and it's right in that spot where we just saw those players go down where I've seen a number of players slip. Yep, I saw it at halftime. There were some elementary kids running around out there, and they looked like they were slipping inside, and then it's, it's pretty... A little it's greasy. Held, it's held a lot of moisture. Yep. Uh, we haven't had a lot of rain, but there hasn't been a lot of sun. I think it just hasn't dried up. Rosenthal, shot on wide. Julius trying to have lightning strike twice. The PA goalkeeper looks pretty comfortable inside the box. I'm going to have to use a pretty special shot from that range to get past it. Charlie Veach, CJ Hall go up in the air. Yep, the Mike Clark gives the ball to. The PA player just kind of came underneath his feet, kind of prevented him from trying to get to the ball, prevented him from landing. Um, and wasn't trying to get the ball. The one closer. <laughs> Rosenthal, free kick. Up high, middle, blows through, turn around, somebody trying to get a foot on it. No, doesn't happen. Ball here out of bounds on the near side. Montgomery looking to make a quick throw. Ball taken down. Chandler Follinsby on the throw. Follinsby, long throw. The wall there to head that one out. If not, that was a turnaround. I think Reese Wheeler might have had a clear shot at the shopper. Montgomery back. Should be Davis a easy throw. throw. Good to hear it from our mic, but I think some of the fans might have missed it. Uh, the Hazen defense cleared it out, but it just scuffed off one of the PA players' legs. The linesman on the side heard it, told okay. the ref in the middle, and he pointed for a Hazen throw. Montgomery. Good, uh, good officiating as a team. Baker, chip up ahead. Davison get, trying to get the left foot. Ball right around there in the middle. Hazen can't quite get the... Shot they need. Get back in. Patrick, nice takeout by the defensive player for PA. Rosenthal back to Bellavance. 
Bellavance, turn, nice move by Wyatt Bellavance to get that one in there. Rosenthal, Oliver Nigro goes down low on Rosenthal. Here's the breakthrough, Reese Wheeler. And uh, is that a, uh, I'm not sure. He crossed his arms. Uh, to stop the clock. Okay. I believe it's because he's going to issue a yellow card to the defender. And Julius yep. Rosenthal draws the yellow. But really, I mean, Wheeler was going in. It was either do that or, you know. Yeah. What's your yeah. take on it, Harry? Uh, did he go a little too aggressive on him, or did he make the right play and just? I, I think it's the right play. I'm not sure if it was the right time. There's still 36 minutes left in this half. Uh, with 10 minutes left in the half, then, yeah, I think it's the right play. Um, but there's still a lot of the half left to play. And it's direct or indirect? And Playing on a yellow card for the last half an hour is gonna, gonna be make tough. it. He's got to be extra careful not to get a second yellow card. Uh, this will be direct. Lining up is from Gabe. about the same spot that Hazen scored their goal. Gabe Carlson lines up. Shopper back. Mike Clark backs him up a couple of steps. Is it 10 yards? 10 yards, yep. Looks about right from here. And when you ask for 10 yards, you have to wait for a second whistle. Um, the Hazen players are able to take it quickly because the whistle wasn't blown for 10 yards. They just took it. Carlson shot. High. Good work by Shoplin. Followed it the whole way and was there if it dipped down. Out of bounds, white throw. Leaf join us up here for a moment, bringing us extra batteries in case we go OT. CJ Hall lifts one over, looking for Davison in the middle. Tomlinson plays him. Tomlinson. Wasn't that a kick back to the goalie? Uh, it has to be an intentional pass back to the goalie with your foot. So the ref can deem that it wasn't an intentional pass with their foot okay. back, and if the goalie picks it up, then it's fine. Uh, yeah. the, if, for example, you're allowed to intentionally head the ball back, and the goalie can pick it up. Oh, no okay. Uh, okay. Wow. It deemed it shoulder to shoulder and collision physical Norris play. Duff, James Montgomery. He, he won the ball and like, went shoulder to shoulder. <laughs> and you called it, Harry, halftime. You thought this game was going to get a little more physical, and so far it is. Yep, one yellow card so far. We'll see how much they push it and how much control the rest feel they need to take. Best seat in the house, eh, Leaf? Now, you, have you done games up here with You did a couple with me way back, right? Drop pass. Nathan Nolan, almost a bounce pass. Out of bounds. Riker Willets on the throw. Rosenthal back in. Ty Davison gets the header to skip it over to the middle of the field. PA with control though right now. And Cole PA Grant gets that one up. What were you going to say, Harry? PA have been dominating the last few minutes. He he's, Hazen seemed to be kind of a half a step behind and lost some spark. And they got they need, they need to find a way to get some more energy as a team and stay together. They started out this half with some nice passing. Uh, and I think they'll be able to break PA down if they can stick to that and play as a team. But if they start reverting to playing individually and staying a half step behind them, they'll find themselves in trouble. Tomlinson really playing Davison physical too over yes. there. Yes, yep, and I think that's probably the game plan from PA, just stay on top of him, stay on top of him, and try to keep him smothered. But we'll see if he can rise above it. Crowd wanted a handball on that. Nice. Give and go. Yep, no, so the play is going to get called back as soon as as soon as soon the ref sees. He'll look over and see the flag. The, so regardless uh, of yep, what goes on Regardless here. of what goes on, um, the referee on the side doesn't have a whistle. He has his flag, and it's the referee in the middle's job to make sure everyone stays safe and everyone's playing fairly. Uh, so we... So even if a shot had gone in, it would have been waved uh, off. Yep, it, it, it was, there was offsides ruled, and okay. so it just... It's a different system than the refs are used to playing, and so they don't always see right away and see right okay. away. Um, 
And of course the fans are yelling offsides, but that doesn't mean that it is. But right. With the three-off system, it just they were on top of it. They had it covered. The play was going to be made. It wasn't a matter of if the play was going to be made or call was going to be made, but when it was going to be made. And when the whistle would come. Thought that shot had gone in. It actually went up over goal. I thought it had dropped in behind Bonanno. Just drifted. <laughs> dropped in over the goal. Best opportunity yet. Hastings had to score in his second half with 32-24 left. Game tied, 1-1. Playoff soccer, arch rivals, chilly gray fall day. This is what it's all about. Mm. It's a dangerous pass back in the middle there. Daring of them to pass it back to the middle of the top of the box, but they look to be getting away with it. If they continue that, I, Hazen might be able to punish them for being so audacious. Ball ricochets all over the place here. We've got a pinball match going on here. Baker trying to get a foot on that, working against Cole Grant. Grant gets around the corner. C.J. Hall right there, keeps it in. C.J. up ahead, middle of the field. Here's Davison trying to settle. Tomlinson, misplay. Davison shot on, save Bobble, but a save yep. by Bonanno. First time that uh, Davison's gotten around Tomlinson. You got to wonder, maybe the slick field down here might neutralize him a little bit. Yep, uh, and he had, a, he had a teammate a little bit lower if he'd been able to stay a little composed and find that extra pass. He had a teammate that was six yards closer. Um, Tyson, I believe, was yep. up. Tyson, and Tyson should be furious with him that he didn't make that extra pass because he's in a much better position to shoot. And that's where Hazen will need to make sure they keep their composure and keep their teamwork that's helped them be so successful. Doobie tried to work that one through, hit Julius in the hand. Got to call the handball on that one. Unfortunate. Just the ball bobbled up and happened to catch his arm. And calling that handball will put, um, put some pressure on the ref to make sure they continue making consistent calls with that. Those kind of fluky plays where it bounces up and hits their hands. Right. If he calls that, then he'll have to call the rest going forward. And or suffer the retaliation of the crowd that says, <laughs> no, you call it back here, you gotta call it there. Exactly. Goal kick, Hazen, Rosenthal, high spinner. Patrick comes over, tries to play it. Got a PA player right on his back. Yep. Got called. I believe that, if, I, if that's a nine I see from here, it's Norris Duff. Rosenthal. Free kick. Up the side. Bellavance looking to get that one. Got beat to the ball by Oliver Nigro. Rosenthal. Nice chip. There's Nimi. Throws one in there. Davison gives chase. Goes up against Doobie. Davison trying to go across the middle. Ball outside. You can see from the skid mark that the PA defender left on that last slide that it's certainly a lot of moisture down there. Pretty greasy. CJ Hall with the throw. Ball up. Call Cody for a little bit of a shove there. Uh, just he didn't like the way that he came through. It just he was playing for the ball, but. He threw a little, a little strong. Bit, right, it wasn't, he, he was going more through the player to get to the ball as opposed to going up to the ball. See referee Mike Clark having some words with Landon Doobie yep. as well. After the play, the PA player kind of retaliated, pushed back at him, and he went over and just said, hey. Shut it down I right saw play, now. I made the call, don't react. It's my job to, discipline's my job. You play fairly. Throw in, far side, Charlie Veet. Ball in. Ball out. He's an assistant coach. Jim Bellavance calls the cold kick. <laughs> Our coach from the stands. Cody Davison going to get a breather. I think that's Reed Keeler in. Yes. Patrick.
there is some frustration from the fans, but the refs, if the ball goes out of bounds on the sideline, the refs don't have to blow their whistle. And you'll see that more often than not when the ball goes way out. They don't need to blow anything. They just point in the direction. Montgomery trying to keep this one away. Oh. Referee spun his flag on that one. It looks like Montgomery and Nolan got tangled up. What does a flag spin mean? Uh, he very much wanted to know that it was a foul. He very much wanted the center ref to know that it was a foul. We have a yellow card now yep. on James Montgomery. Yep. Much to the chagrin of the hometown crowd. Yes. Raising their ire, <laughs> shall I say. Oliver Nigro. Lining up to take the kick. 27-27 left to go in the match. 1-1 one, one tie right now. Thanking Lee for bringing up the extra battery. I was looking around for my coat. John had given me this sweater. Beautiful sweatshirt before the game. And, uh, Starting to chill through a little bit. I just remember my coat's down the uh, incinerator room. We'll be okay. But you've seen me doing jumping jacks here. I'm just trying to keep warm. <laughs> Almost a hush falls over the crowd. Backing them up. The shopper stealing himself for the shot. Waiting for the whistle. Nigro. Kick. Save, Shopper. Boy, that ball took a skip right at the end, didn't it? Yep, great goalkeeper. Had his eyes on it the whole time and dove in for a brave save. The mini Shopper. Let's up ahead. Davison here on the near side, looking across. Tomlinson with him. Puts it back. Well, that can he catch up? Up with it. Follinsby right there. Mitchett puts a shot on from about half field. <laughs> Bonanno comes out, makes a play. Ball skips out. V trying to make a play over there. Baker trying to turn around. Ball rolls over the hill. Uh, similar to what we saw with some free kicks that were awarded in Hazen's favor, the um, player that stayed on the ground got called for the foul. The other player was trying for the ball. Uh, he got knocked out of the air by the player that remained on the ground, and the refs gave the free kick in that direction. Throw in on the far side, PA. 26-13 left to go in the match. 1-1 tie, quarterfinal action. Here from Hudson Fields. He's in Union Dangerous High School pick. in Hardrick, Vermont. Arch Rivals People's Academy Wolves against the Hazen Union Wildcats. Rosenthal. On it, Red, on it. High kick. Nimi tries to come down with that one. PA control the cross. Tyson can't quite get a foot on it as that ball rolled across the middle. Here's a turn. Nathan Nolan back. Looking over here on the near side for Nolan once again. We'll let on him. Davison on him. Wow. Call made. Rosenthal kick. Up ahead. Keeler there. Looking to head it down. There's Baker trying to turn. Can't quite get it. CJ Hall over on the far side. Blocked down by Grant. Grant back up. Save in Patrick. Looking again for Baker, trying to get the turn, can't get it there. Bellavance, Wyatt Bellavance. Has it taken away by Oliver Nigro here on the near side. Back in the middle, Bellavance. Down with it, playing against Follinsby. Middle of the field, nice play. Colton Nimi, however, cleared up by PA. Mitchett doing what he can to get it to the outside. Ball off left, we're gonna have a white throw. Norris Duff, lone scorer for Peoples. 
so far in this game of the first half. First goal of the game. Followed up later on in the first half by Julius Rosenthal to get us where we are in this 1-1 tie with 24-22 left in regulation. Throw in, Rosenthal. Headed out by Willette, we'll have a corner kick. And this is one thing we haven't seen yet in this game, Harry, is a, a whole lot of corner kicks. They quick kick it, trying to catch the defense napping. Shot in wide. Almost sort of a design play. Yep. yep. But he definitely set that one up quick. I'm sure they've had some success from it this season, but Hazen's defense seems to be on top of it so far in this game. Rosenthal, goal kick. Hometown crowd cheering on their team. Ball chipped ahead. Let's Chases in the corner. Ball out. Throw in. Keeler. Nice move. Oh, get that ball up over Grant. Grant goes down. Yellow card for Keeler. Did you see a yellow card warranted there? I didn't. I don't know. Or are they just uh, trying to settle things down? I, I think that was more for keeping control of the game. I think he's trying to send a message to both teams that uh, you won't see less physical play. I don't think that Keeler's specific. Foul. I think Keeler hasn't had a lot of fouls in yeah. this game so far. Um, sort of a culmination of events. and I, I think it was uh, more to keep control of the entire game. Set it, setting the example. Right, set, it, set a tone for the game to calm things down. Um, but Hazen are starting to pile up a lot of yellow cards. And yeah, that's three. It was Julius. Uh, two defenders and then Reed. Julius Reed, and I'm trying to remember who the other person was. Nice bicycle kick by Montgomery. Mon uh, James Montgomery had the other one. By Baker. C.J. Hall looking for Cody Davidson back in now after a little bit of a breather. Got Finn Rooney open over here. Bonanno. Good effort, but didn't quite bring it back enough. You know, Goal was able to be all over it. Turn, Rosenthal on his horse. Chips in ahead of Norris Duff. Back out. Nice deflection by Bellavance out to Finn Rooney. Turn around, Carlson. Tomlinson on the throw. Rosenthal gets a foot on that or else uh, Wheeler once again. Down, we got a bunch of, we got a whistle. We got a time, what are we gonna get here? Uh, I expect a yellow card for a reckless two-footed challenge on 22. That would be Oliver Nigro. What's Bonanno doing out there talking to the uh, ref? I assume that he's their speaking captain. He's just asking for clarification on the call, asking why he got a yellow card. Um, okay. He probably is arguing that, oh, it shouldn't have been a yellow card. It was just a foul or that he won the ball. Um, okay. I'm, I'm not sure that he did win the ball. Um, but the, as long as they're being respectful and asking questions, the You're allowed captains to do are that. certainly encouraged to uh, get clarification from the ref. Um, okay. they kind of look for information. Yellow cards flying like leaves in the wind out here. Yes. We'll see uh, if it comes back to haunt one of the teams more than the other. We'll see how they, with 22 minutes, there's uh, yeah. a lot of time left to play. Lance Hall with the call for HCTV Channel 16 on the local cable dial, streaming worldwide and archive at www.hctv.us. Sponsors today, Willie Store, 533-2621, open every day, 7 a.m. to 6 p.m. And the Jasper Hill Farm, 533-2644, best cheese in the world. High kick by Rosenthal. Griff on camera, Harry Brissett up on commentary. Quarterfinal action here from Hudson Fields. People's Academy against Hazen Union, 21-44 left to go in regulation. 1-1 one, one tie. A little too handsy. Uh, he's, he lost control of the ball a little bit, started pushing the PA defender. Mike was right on top of it. Um, made the call. Referee Mike Clark 
Johnny on the spot here this afternoon. Ball taken down by Willette. Landon Dubia up Nolan. Bellavance tried to get a foot on that. Going across the middle, Reese Wheeler. Rosenthal plays it out. Over. Charlie Veet played out. Baker. Up ahead. C.J. Hall up ahead. Cody Hall in. Goes up over Bonanno. Letting him play. Nimi. Ball bounces in. Bonanno. With the scoop. Twin Cody's up front for the Cats. Cody Hall, Cody Davison. Players down. Finn Rooney here on the near side. Up ahead, Davison turning against Tomlinson. He's got a step, but Otto out. Makes a save, Davison up over. Good play from Davison, good play from Bonanno. Just I don't safe. think I'd want to be Bonanno laying on the ground while looking at Cody Davison coming at me with that much speed. <laughs> no, uh, no, certainly not, but they both played it very maturely. They, they're they both allowed to fight for the ball and they're both allowed to sprint towards the ball. Certainly you want them both to. Um, and Davison just realized he wasn't going to get there. Bonanno stayed down. Davison did a great job jumping over. Hazen crowd happy with that call. <laughs> Rosenthal. Lining up to take the free kick. Rosenthal, middle of the field. Nimi gets a head on it. Tomlinson with a head on it. Davison heading it towards the goal. Headed, ooh, scary play right there. Tony White back. Corner kick for your Hazen Union Wildcats. Colton Nimi on the corner. Nimi lifts it up. Taken out by PA. Over on the far side. And we have a whistle. Baker went down hard. Pretty good push over there. I couldn't see which player did it, but. Fairly easy call for Mike Clark on that one. Are we going to have a drop ball, Harry? So I, I think that the, I think the refs may have seen two different things, and maybe they both saw an infraction, and so that's why I wore the drop ball instead of the free kick for Hazen. Okay. Uh, that's my, that's what I believe happened. I mean, Mike uh, was standing closer to us. The referee over on the far side was a lot closer to the play. You know. Yep. Yep. But just sometimes just different angle will show yep. you something different. Give you a different thing. Um, and then this, I think that the linesman on the side saw a, I think it bounced up and there's a handball or something. You also saw a lot of players in for that drop ball. They're, you're not, the refs are not allowed to select who steps in for a drop ball, and they're also not allowed to tell you how many players you're allowed to have in for a drop ball. So in theory, you could have 11 and 11 in for this drop ball somehow. <laughs> and somehow the refs are supposed to drop it in there and right. get out before it hits the ground. 17-12 left to go in the match. Turn shot. Ooh. Referee over here on the corner, way away from the ball. Yeah. Called Ethan for picking it up out of bounds. I don't know. Um, Going to give the PA a picking corner. Picking up out of bounds or it's seeing it roll out of bounds before Ethan got to it, I'm not sure. But if PA score from this, uh, he's going to certainly feel harshly done by this call. Yeah, 
the PA player try the overhead kick inside the box, and you can see success with that at the professional level, but it is hard to get away with it safely <laughs> as a high schooler. And if it's the right call, he came over his head, his yeah. cleat was dangling up by other people's heads. And Rosenthal, high kick. Played back. Cody Hall up, middle of the field, played in, Tomlinson out. CJ, CJ gets settles that one, trying to get it in. Nice feet up ahead. Davison, oh, oh, that was, uh, he was wide open, just couldn't quite settle it down. What an opportunity that was. Pass came in a little hot, couldn't quite get the foot, you know, the trap down and the turn. But what a glorious opportunity for the catch right there. 15, 28, and ticking. Cody Hall able to find it stay composed and find a beautiful pass into Davidson. Mm. Davidson miscontrolled it, unfortunately. Wyatt Bellavance puts that one through. Player down, no call. Yep. Rosenthal back. Rosenthal, middle of the field. Wyatt Bellavance here on the near side, working hard. Can't get by Gabe Carlson. Ball back up. Mitch it in. He's going to get yep. called as he took Oliver Nigro down. Yep. And, and that'll Davis. earn him a yellow. yellow. Is he, that his he, first? That's his first. He came across the body of the defender. He saw it. So he got him with his entire upper half of his leg. Um, pretty straightforward booking. Uh, and Hazen's defense, I think the majority of them now have yellow cards with 15 minutes left to Gonna play be tough. in regular time. Um, let's hope that Hazen can finish this with 11 players on the field. Fourteen fifty-six left in regulation. So I am now going to pull my hood up on. Chill settling down over here tonight. Kick high in the middle, coming down. Is that Willette to cut the foot on it? Back out. Finn Rooney up ahead was looking for Davison. Back through Willette trying to play it through Rosenthal up. C.J. Hall trying to get over there on the far side. It's going to roll out. It's going to be a red throw. C.J. Hall throw, middle of the field, looking for Davison. Can't get there. P.A. with control right now. Patrick. As that one looked like that one got deflected. Looked like a P.A. player got a foot on it as well. Cole Grant on the far side with the throw in. Played down by Willette, up over. Rosenthal's going to have to go back. Shopper, big kick up. Davison settles by Tomlinson. Good work by Davison to stop him from getting that ball up the field. Willette has that one go under. Turnaround, Norris Duff. Duff on the throw. Plays up ahead. Reese Wheeler over in the corner, playing against Rosenthal. Rosenthal draws the goal kick. I believe I didn't quite see it, but did the ball bounce off the flag? I didn't quite see it either. It, Griff uh, says Griff yes. Griff says yes, it bounced off the flagpole. So if that happens, the refs. Uh, and the corner flags are considered the same as a goal post. Okay. It's part of the field. If it bounces off them, you just keep playing. So I think it kind of caught the PA player by surprise, and he accidentally knocked it out. He's a goal kick. Locked down. Shopper out. Save. Ethan, the mini shopper. throw. Looking up ahead for Veet. Mitchett playing him over there. Mitchett keeps it in. Wow. 
No whistle. Patrick keeping it in. I don't like him dilly-dallying around down here, Harry, with the ball back there. Making us a little nervous up here on the roof. 12 minutes left to go in the match. Score tied 1-1. Goals by Norris Duff and Julius Rosenthal. High goal kick. What a great game for us finally to do a playoff game, or my first play. You know, Griff was here for the boys' games against Bethel Falls Tuesday night, but my first called game for uh, soccer playoffs. Yep. It's, what uh, a burn burner. It's been a great game. Davison trying to turn. Nimi back. Davison skips across the middle. Nothing there. Chipped out by Landon Doobie. I believe uh, Wheeler was way off sides on that. Off the post. Taken out. Hazen dodges the bullet, but boy, I thought Wheeler was offside. I, when the ball was passed, I think he was in an onside position. That's all that matters. Okay. He got behind the defense, but I think he timed his run just right, and the ball came in, and certainly uh, the Hazen hometown was sure that it was offsides, but I, <laughs> I think he timed his run just right. Post being the mini shopper's best friend on that one. Yep. Hazen playing footsie with fate down here, keeping the ball down on this end this long against this team. Throw. Ball played down by Doobie, back in. Turn around. Ball. Skitters over to this side of the field. Baker turning, looking to go against Nathan Nolan. Gets it up. Taken down, though, by Gabe Carlson. Nimi and Carlson holding hands out uh, there. You don't say, see that very someone often. Someone seemed huh? to want to grab the other one's hands. I'm not sure who grabbed who, but. Neither one really wanted to let go. Here's Davison up. Davison playing in shove by Landon Doobie. Montgomery on the throw, drops it in. That's three or four times the Hazen players have not been paying attention on their own throw, and the ball just goes right to a PA player. They've been wasteful with those pieces. CJ Hall gets players. shakes out Grant, gets it over Baker, turn shot! Oh, high! Excellent oh. passing by Hazen. Oh, wow, Excellent Baker. Excellent passing by Hazen, and rubs their corner. 9.05 left. Both teams training scoring opportunities now. Just glorious opportunities. One shot off the post, one shot high. Corner kick. I, I believe a shot would have been on target if not if it weren't deflected by the PA defense. He, uh, yeah. I'm not sure it was going low into the corner, but I think it was certainly on the frame. Save, Bonanno. I believe that was CJ. Got the head on it on the far side. He's sneaky that way. <laughs> It's like when he sneaks my cherry cokes. <laughs> 8.30 left to go here in the match. Rosenthal backs up, tries to play that one up. Played ahead now. Shopper comes out, plays it way. That one's going to come up to us. Up. Yeah. Almost made it. I thought you were going to be able to make a play on that one for a second, Harry. <laughs> Loving the way the crowd is coming alive down here. Oh, they're, they're very proud of their Wildcats. The line's been on the side, saw an infraction. I think we just saw a little too much physical play by the PA offense. 7.43 and ticking here in regulation. Score tied 1-1. Ball up, middle of the field. Rosenthal back down. I don't think Duff wanted that to go that way. 
Tyson had a shot, gets around, can he turn the corner? Gets it back, feels slick right here. Looking for a play in the middle. Wyatt Bellavance chipped down. Stolen away by Oliver Nigro. Rosenthal, what a wall. Yep, and he needed to be because if that slipped through him, then the PA player was off and running. Reese Wheeler would have had a breakaway. Yep. A wall of defense is Julius Rosenthal. Mitchell. He gets that one up trying to get it. Davison playing against Nigro. Overturn. Davison. That's one of those low percentage half court <laughs> shots that I've talked about. In the yes. Past. He had players running with him, and the defense was running back to try to catch up. Uh, even though the clock's ticking down, they still want to stay composed and yep. still want to stay a little patient. Find the extra pass. Find the extra pass. 620. And counting. Rosenthal plays that one up through. Grant over on the far side. Him and C.J. Hall have gone at it a few times today. Davison trying to keep that one down against Grant. Davison and Grant. Cole Grant. Cole Grant, the sophomore for the Wolves. Tyson goes out. Finn Rooney, a little extra speed up front. Although Tyson's pretty darn quick himself. But I'll tell you, Finn Rooney, he's not quick. He's sudden. Cody Hall pass in. Finn Rooney. Chip ahead. Davison looks to settle. Getting it back to Davison. Tomlinson playing him. Cody Hall puts a shot on high. 5.22 left in the match. Short kick. Coming across, Bellavance playing Tomlinson. Baker. Tomlinson. Up ahead, taken down. Montgomery. Nigro. Over on the far side. Patrick giving chase along with Veet. Veet down in the middle. Wheeler. Rosenthal. Julius the wall. Rosenthal. Playing with a yellow. I think at this point you just make the play, right? Uh, well, with this much time left, uh, you make the play. With four minutes left, it's, you can't be concerned about picking up a second yellow card at this point in the game. Uh, with 15 minutes left, then yes, you want to be desperate yeah. and make sure you don't. But uh, with four minutes left, you want to make sure this game either goes into overtime or your team wins. Player right there in the box with him. Bellavance looking for Nimi. Nimi trying to get that one across. Mike Clark reaches into his pocket for a yellow card. Shows the yellow card to Norris Duff. That was behind the play. Must I, be Duff was chattering. I, it must have been. I'm, uh, he wasn't involved with the play where the ball yeah. was, I'm sure. But he must. Uh, Mike Clark must have either seen or heard something off the play. It's something that he certainly thought was egregious enough to win. Norris Duff trots off with a yellow card. He Action. is the, or is that Reese? Number nine. Number nine, Norris Duff, yeah. Uh, gentlemen have scored the goal for the Wolves in this game. I think he's just going over to clarify with both coaches what he saw and move play forward. 4 8 left to go in the match. It, it, it must have been something. Something behind something the play must, must have been said. He usually won't stop the play to call it back and give a yellow, present a yellow card um, when the other team has possession. Mike Clark is veteran a referee as you'll find. Yep. Rosenthal, kick. Taken down by the PA defense. Here's the turnaround. Follinsby getting over, looking for uh, Nolan. He's quick. Nolan's quick, too. Baker. Baker picks his pocket. Nolan goes down. Nimi going up there with Doobie. Throw in. Colton playing it in the oh. middle. Finn Rooney couldn't quite get there to catch up with it. Not even Finn Rooney's quick enough to catch that one. Ball skittered right across the front of the goal. And 
Seemed to take about five minutes. Yep. Unlucky not to find that last pass to recirculate it around the box. I think he kind of slipped again as he was trying to make the pass. And it unfortunately went out for a PA throw in. Montgomery high, kick, back. Players collide, they, they went, he went down hard. Yeah. That is, uh, I believe it's number 23, Chandler Follinsby. We're gonna have a clock stop. Yep. Uh, I couldn't I, tell, I, did he hit, bump, James is back here holding his head a little, not like that, but Follinsby immediately went down clutching yeah. his head. Yep. Scary. But Mike Clark right on top of it. Any kind of head injury, they're just precaution first, and they make yep. sure the players are okay. Stop the clock. Clock stopped with 2.54 left to go in regulation. I don't think it was. Um, Anything flagrant, any type yeah, of Yeah, I, I don't just think it was flagrant enough. I don't think he'll yeah. um, brandish a yellow card. Both um, players. I, I think it was just a coming together. That, yeah. Both uh, players going to make a play. A serious effect. Sometimes, and you'll see it sometimes at the professional level, and soccer gets a, a bad reputation for so much diving and carrying on on the right. ground because they're trying to get the player draw the yellow draw yeah. the yellow card for the player but it's it's not necessarily about the impact but about what the foul was in the first place not necessarily the outcome of it and this is unfortunately hopefully the PA player is okay and he can bounce back up and um, sitting up still looked like he got his bell rung though yes I uh, I certainly doubt he's carrying on and faking it no <laughs> no no Certainly not. Chandler Follinsby, a freshman for the People's Wolves, back up after a scary collision. I, I think it was with James Montgomery, but I'm not positive. Without the benefit of replay, I can only guess. <laughs> but I did see James kind of rubbing his head a little bit back there. What a game. You Everything you expected it would be. Down to the wire. 2.54 left. 1-1 one, one tie. We'll PA will have the free kick. We'll see who can dig the deepest in the last couple minutes. and Hopefully Hazen's defense can stay strong here. But PA coming out for this free kick looking pretty confident. Landon Doobie lining up, getting ready to take the kick. Is this a direct kick, Harry? This will be direct. Doobie, will he launch it? He does. High. <laughs> Chopper back. Let's go, Hazel! Short line drive punt. Out of bounds. Yep, a little wasteful. He had the right idea, trying to distribute the ball to his teammates, but just swing around like that, I just... I was going to say, uh, sort of a control. turnover. Yep, yep. 2.23 left. Nimi comes out against Gabe Carlson. Back in the middle. Good we saw this a lot in the, in the first half. They were sh very patient, short passes. Yep, yep, great give and goes. Um, letting the ball do the work. Yeah. To cut through the haze and defense. Baker comes out, collides with Nigro. Both players go down, no call. Yep. Letting them play. That was Nathan Nolan running to Wyan Bellavance. So that's not going to happen. Mitchin kept in, though. Still down here. We've got to clear this ball out. Nice oh, play by Baker. Go. Beautiful play. Riker will let. Oh, he wanted that one back. After such a clever Beautiful play, play by Baker, by Baker to get that out. Oh. oh. Ball in behind, Wheeler, he's threatened a couple times. Rosenthal with him. Goal kick. Yep. 120. We'll have to go here in regulation. Be a Hazen goal kick. One minute, one minute left to go in regulation. Nimi tries to get a foot on that one. Turn around, Nigro up ahead. Wheeler there, Rosenthal back up. Tomlinson skips that one high. Davison chest it down. 
Ball still going up high. Thomas and Bellavance going at it. Ball cleared out by Doobie, 39 seconds. Patrick gets that one in the middle. Baker trying to settle. Baker again, a beautiful move. Ball up ahead, Shopper's gonna kick that one. Shopper way out of the goal. Yep. Almost like pulling the goalie in hockey where he put the extra attacker yep. on. Yep, that's why he stays up there. And Baker not gonna catch up with that one. 15 seconds left. Throw in. Willette back, Doobie high. Bellavance <laughs> knocks that one back. Misses the kick, and we will go to overtime. Here at Hudson Fields, A's and Union High School, Hard and Vermont, quarterfinal action. People's Wolves against the A's and Union Wildcats. 1-1 after regulation. Lance Hall with the call for HCTV Channel 16 on your local cable dial streaming worldwide and archived at www.hctv.us. Griff on camera, Harry Bissett up on commentary. Our sponsors today, Willie Store, 533-2621, open every day, 7 a.m. to 6 p.m. And Jasper Hill Farm, 533-2644, best cheese in the world. I need a break. You ready for a break, Harry? Oh, just a short one. Then I want to see some more All PA right. Hazen action. We're going to stop talking for a minute. And we're back. Overtime action here in the quarterfinal matchup between your Hazen Union Wildcats and the visiting People's Wolves, a couple of rivals that go way, way back in soccer, basketball, you name it. These two teams know each other well. Hazen looking to avenge their opening game loss to People's down at Morrisville by a 4-1 score way back in August, Harry. So uh, we'll see what happens. 15 minutes, sudden death. First goal wins. Lance Hall with the call for HCTV Channel 16 and local cable dial streaming worldwide and archived at www.hctv.us. Our sponsor, Willie Store, 533-2621. Open every day, 7 a.m. to 6 p.m. And Jasper Hill Farm, 533-2644. Best cheese in the world. Griff on camera. Harry Bissett up here on commentary. What a game we have had here today, Harry. Oh, it's been uh, excellent action up and down the fields. Uh, great goals in the first half. And then some near goals in the second half that just added to the drama and suspense. PA had a shot go off the post. Uh, Baker had a wide open net, got just deflected up over by the PA defender. We saw some great passing from both teams. Yeah, um, both of these teams have played really, really well today. Yep. A flurry of yellow cards. We've got a number of players out here with yellow cards. A number of our defensive players with yellow cards. Nolan on the far side, coming in against Baker. Good Nolan play by Baker like just to over. shield Nolan off. He, he just he got the ball in front of him, and he just tried to slow Nolan down, and Nolan fought a little, a little got too, too scrappy. Linesman saw it. Good play by Baker just to shield him off. He used his body. He didn't have to touch the ball at all. He just used his body to hold the other player off and got the call. Scorers in the game. Uh, number nine, Norris Duff, opened up the scoring action in the first half for the PA Wolves. And then it was, and here's, we're going in. Bodies everywhere. And I believe we're going to have a PK. And that was Julius Rosenthal tying the off. We saw players get tied up. Players go down in the box. Yep. We've seen the field be real slick at this end. And it looks like we're going to have a PK. And it's going to be Reese Wheeler lining up to take this one. A minute and 24 seconds into the first overtime. Reese Wheeler, the junior, for the Wolves. Penalty kick. Score. And did he just blow it by him, or, or did Ethan slip a little bit? I think he tried to guess and guess the wrong I'm way. hearing a lot of whistling out here. Uh, Mike Clark blowing his whistle. What's He's, he's waving the PA. I believe he's calling them back. They saw some infraction. Um, we can check the replay later on. Um, he's calling it back. I don't know if a player from the other team runs into the box before the shot's been taken. They have to redo it. If the goalie comes off of his line too early, sometimes they have to redo it. Um, there's a handful of things that the striker, that the person taking the shot can do to have to redo it. 
Uh, Mike's getting clarification from the linesman on um, what he saw. Okay, we'll have to watch that replay. I, I have no uh, idea. I am brand new to this part of it, Harry. Yep, uh, it, it, there's, there's a handful of things you're not allowed to do during a penalty kick, um, and it has to be redone. Ethan Schopler with a shot at redemption. Looked like he almost slipped a little bit on that first one, too. Two for two. Yep, same spot. And that will end the Hazen Union Wildcats season. You really hate to see a game end like that on a PK like that, but when players get taken down in the box like that, That's, yep. you got to make the call. Yep. There's, it's uh, as low as Ethan feels right now. He, he's had a great season. He's done a great job. And Absolutely. It's, it's, uh, Once again, the shopper, a, a junior, he's going to be back. He'll be back. He's tough. Yep. Um, just, uh, you know, uh, PA wins 2-1 on a PK a minute and 30, 24 seconds into the first overtime. And, a uh, heartbreaking way for the game to end. Uh, both teams evenly matched into overtime. Yeah. Both teams certainly deserve to make the next round. Uh, it's a great game. Scoreline great says game. PA advances. Hazen season comes to an end. Great game, great season, and once again, we want to thank everybody, all our sponsors. We completely sold out every Lady Cat game and Gentleman Cat game this season. Uh, we want to thank all our sponsors, in particular our sponsors today. Let me give them one more read as we uh, will close out the, the soccer season here. Willie Store, 533-2621, open every day, 7 a.m. to 6 p.m., and Jasper Hill Farm, 533-2644, best cheese in the world. I know we got... Some great sponsorship from the Hardwick Village Restaurant, from uh, Calderwood Insurance, Mike Gothier down there. Uh, if I forget anybody, I apologize. Um, trying to think of who else I read. I read all the sheets all this year, but Griff, can you think of anyone? I think we, I believe we got everybody. Seems like there was one other restaurant, maybe. Um, but again, uh, my apologies if I forgot everybody. Those are the, the ones that jump out at me right off. Griff on camera. Uh, Harry, for coming up during all the boys uh, boys games and providing commentary. Yes. Thank you very, very much. Well, thank you so Most much enjoyable. for having me. It's been a wonderful season. Everybody that uh, has commented on the camera work and the action uh, and the uh, play calling this season, we thank you very, very much for watching us on HGTV.us. Our crowd, our sponsors, our players, our coaches, everybody, the bus drivers. Have I forgotten anybody? The custodians. <laughs> our, our fans. Our fans. The refs. The re yeah, referees. Lance Hall. <laughs> Thank you. It's, it's been a pleasure. Everybody involved. It takes a, a team of people to create this for our teams out here, and we want to thank everyone involved with that. Lance Hall with the call for HCTV. Dot, yeah, HCTV. <laughs> <laughs> used to say it, HCTV.us. We'll see you uh, basketball season. Harry, thank you. Griff, thank Thanks you. So it's been a pleasure pleasurable year and uh, once again thank you to everybody out there who uh, we couldn't be us without you we'll see you next time bye bye